The commissioners investigating juvenile detention in the Northern Territory have had a confronting visit to the site where six teenagers were tear-gassed in 2014. They've also been told about the repercussions for youth justice officers as a result of national attention on the system. In 2014, teenagers were held in these cells for 23 hours a day. Dylan Voller was there too. His treatment in detention featured heavily in Four Corners. This is, this is sort of where that young fellow was. It still is somewhere still in a place not. like this. It was in this unit that six teenagers were tear gassed. The footage was shown on the program. For the commissioners, it was the first time they'd seen this unit for themselves and they appeared to find the experience confronting. The tear gassing will be examined as part of the Royal Commission into Youth Detention. These are open, aren't they, so that yeah. the gas could have got in yeah. oh. through those. After the tear gassing, the Dondale Youth Detention Centre was put out of use and Darwin's old adult prison was upgraded and detainees were moved there. Yeah, I'm happy to have them here today. Commissioner Margaret White expressed concern about a lack of privacy and no air conditioning even in the new Dondale. The Territory Government says it's talking to the Commonwealth about funding for a new building. It's a, an interim measure whilst we work out what, with, uh, with, with government what the next set of infrastructure is going to look like. The commissioners also heard from youth justice officers who said morale among staff had been very low since the Four Corners program. Two Indigenous staff said they were trying to do good work, but felt their reputations had been unfairly tarnished and they wanted to tell the Royal Commission their side of the story. Sarah Everingham, ABC News, Darwin.